Okay, what we're going to look at today is a property of the hydrogen halides. In fact, two properties of the hydrogen, hydrogen halides, specifically hydrogen chloride. So this flask contains hydrogen chloride, a colourless gas. This flask contains water and universal indicator solution. Quite a lot of universal indicators, so it looks quite dark. And this contraption is a two-hold bung, which has got one end open to the atmosphere, the other end has this other bung at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this flask onto the top. Now you might see some white fumes escaping from the flask as I put it on. In fact, I hope we do, because that would be a good sign that we have got plenty of hydrogen chloride in the flask. Now, there's a little bit of moisture in the flask already, and the spectacular thing about this experiment is what it does to water. You may know the saying that water finds its own level. Water will always basically go and fill the bottom of the container that it is in, and it definitely doesn't go uphill. Now, what we're going to see in a moment, appearing just above the bung here, which at the moment you probably can't quite see, but in a moment you will, is that this water from the flask at the bottom is slowly rising up the flask. Okay, I'm going to move the camera closer. So we can see that the water is going uphill. So we need to consider why, given that it's exposed to the atmosphere here, this water is going upwards. You might also notice that around the neck of the flask here is what looks like condensation. That is hydrochloric acid forming from the moisture in the air. So the water is very slowly creeping up. It's just about to reach the bottom of the bung. And you will notice that the indicator solution is red. This is linked to one of the two properties of the hydrogen halides that we are interested in for this demonstration. So, liquid is continuing to rise. It's now just above the level of the second bung. You can hit, see it here. And moving it away slightly so you get the full effect of the next bit. So, this water has risen, what, about 50 centimetres vertically upwards, which water really isn't supposed to do. Something is pushing it upwards and it's about to make its way into the flask. Now, unfortunately, it's not been quite as spectacular as we would hope it would be at this point. The name of this demonstration is the fountain experiment or the fountain demonstration. And sometimes the liquid literally sprays and fills the entire flask. As you can see, unfortunately today, it's more of a dribble than a fountain. But the water is continuing to come into the flask and it is turning the indicator red. So, two properties of hydrogen chloride being demonstrated here. First, when it dissolves in water, it makes an acidic solution. In this case, hydrochloric acid. So hydrogen chloride gas dissolves in water to make hydrochloric acid. The other thing is explaining why it's managed to make the water come uphill. Disappointingly, not an entire fountain, but it's still making a significant amount of water travel uphill. And that's because the hydrogen, hydrogen chloride gas is very, very soluble in water. So the pressure in the flask has dropped as the hydrogen chloride dissolves and the atmospheric pressure down 
below on the bottom flask has pushed the water into the flask.